Let's begin by taking a look at a single phase step voltage regulator and see how it is installed in the system. The tank of the regulator has three bushings on its top, one for the connection to the line, one to the load, and one to the pole ground. Surge arresters are connected to the line and load bushings. This dial, called the position indicator, is mounted on the tank so that it can be viewed from below. The dial has a scale, which has a zero or neutral position in its center. Additionally, there are 32 marks indicating the 16 steps above and below the zero. The pointer indicates the present tap position of the regulator. In addition, there are two drag hands, which indicate the highest and lowest tap positions that the regulator has moved to since the drag hands were reset. In the tank, oil is used as an arc extinguishing medium. An oil level gauge is located on the tank of the regulator so that the level of the oil can be checked easily. This voltage regulator has a solid state control mechanism mounted in a metal box lower on the pole. It is permanently attached to the regulator by a control cable. When the regulator is changed out, the control mechanism and cable are changed at the same time. The control mechanism permits the voltage regulator to respond automatically to changes in line voltage. The control mechanism can also be used to operate the regulator manually. The mechanism is powered by a fused 120 volt source. Here, the voltage regulators for each phase have been mounted on separate poles. The phase is broken by inline insulators at the pole, and the regulator is connected to each side of the phase through a pair of permanently mounted disconnect switches and a bypass switch. In this case, the switches are mounted on a common base. However, other methods of connecting a regulator to the system may be used. Normally, the disconnect switches are closed and the bypass switch is open. This feeds power from the line side down through the voltage regulator and then out to the load side. When the regulator is in the neutral or zero position, the unit can be taken offline by closing the bypass switch and opening both disconnect switches. Care must be exercised to make sure that the regulator is in neutral before bypassing. If the regulator is not in the neutral position, it would cause a short circuit and a danger of arcing due to the difference in the voltage between the line and load sides. This could cause personal injury and equipment damage.